Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Well, it is Monday, May 8th, 2023. And I wanted to do this video. I'm going to do a nail video for you. It's going to be a catch-up video. I'm going to kind of catch you up to where I'm at right now in terms of the move. I have to tell you that it is now getting down to the wire. We are about two and a half, a little more than two and a half weeks away. We have two more weekends and that's it. And then it is moving day on May 20, well, May 24th, we get the keys. May 25th, Bob's going to be there for a couple of deliveries, and then on May 26th, we're both off, and the movers are coming, and they're going to be moving sure. us in. But now I'm starting are. to feel like it won't get done. I mean, that's the feeling that I'm getting, so I'll fill you in. We'll get the nails on. I'm going to show you the nails that I'm going to put on. I have a quick 25-30 minutes before I have to head out on the road for work, but... Um, my nails you didn't see these nails when i put these nails on so, um, but um, i have started to lose a couple here and there um so i'm gonna just take these nails off and get the nails prepped and ready for these now these are the nail bliss nails that um i got in my nail haul my nail gift haul from tiffany and um these nails are very um kind of they're like a, a pale pink. They have some bling to them. I am going to cut these down pretty short as well. Um, so I'm just going to take my nails off and just kind of chat and tell you where I'm at with everything from my nail lash extensions to what's been happening here and what I think I'm going to be able to do for the my videos for the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So, um, I have stopped doing my nail, my lash this extension. Is, this is going into the eighth week since I have gone to the salon to get lashes. And this past weekend, I, um, tried to take the remaining lashes off and I'll show you what's left here. Not much. <laughs> I look like uh, somebody who's been through something. But so. I got to the point where it felt like I was spending way too much money on the nail ex lash extensions. Um, mm. Even if I wanted to just go once a month um, to do it the way they wanted me to do it, I was spending about $240 a month on the lashes. And that didn't include the tip. And the tip was, you know, over to like 20, 25 bucks. So, I mean, $300 a month for lash extensions was getting to be a little too crazy for me. So, like I said, it, it and what happened was, I am very like, I feel like I need to keep going if I have appointments and the people are so nice and I didn't want to, you know, I felt bad about stopping but what happened was the last nail uh, the last appointment I had which was April 6th um, I got a text from them and the girl who was doing my lashes was out sick so they said you know the text said just call and reschedule so I took that as a sign from the universe that it was my time to take advantage of that and just not reschedule which is what I did so I have been using a, um, a lash growth serum and I, I just have been kind of leaving them alone. Um, I'll show you here some footage. And then this past weekend I tried to, cause you can see my right eye has like two strands of lashes and you can't pull them off because you will pull your own lashes with them. They won't come off. Um, so I tried using, um, a, if you use oil-based cleanser on your eyes, it's supposed to damage the glue. I don't have any oil-based, but I do have some micellar water that takes off waterproof mascara. And so I, um, I did use some of that this weekend. <laughs> you know, we went to Bob's 
works at, he's a uh, assistant superintendent at a school complex and a high school. And we went, the, the high school had a play, Mamma Mia, this past weekend, and we went. And I, <laughs> I didn't want to go to meet like people that he works with with like this eye. So at first I tried to put my magnetic lashes on, and what a mess I made because the magnetic lashes you make like an, a, like you're aligning your eye with the magnetic, it's black, and oh my god, what a mess I made. So, so taking take that off after I tried to put it on it was like kind of an oil-based um, remover. So um, I did put on a couple of, they're like from, they're from a nail company. I think they might even be from Kiss, and they're pre-glued little, little small wispies. And I did manage to put a couple on this eye just to make myself look halfway normal, and that was fine. But um, I'm but just yeah. kind of letting them go at this point. And it's funny because uh, I said to Bob, but on Sunday, I showed him my lashes, and I was like, this is what I look like now. And you know what he, he says? I didn't say anything, but I like you better without those lashes. He's like, welcome back. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so anyway, he's, he supports me and he thinks that I look better without the, the lashes. So I'm working on that, uh, getting them to be all gone. I and got some, I um, some mascara from Thrive um, Cosmetics, which are supposed to um, build your lashes when you put it on so hopefully when the last of these lashes fall off I will have um, I will use that mascara and hopefully um, things will <laughs> be looking better in that area so anyway that's where I'm at with my lash lash extensions um, as far as the move and the packing so as I said we're getting pretty close and um, this weekend, I tried to do some packing in the kitchen, and I really feel, I really started feeling overwhelmed, like this is not going to happen, I'm not going to get this all done. And I know that that's not the case, you know, I know I'm almost finished. You can see behind me, I have boxes that, from my kitchen, some stuff that I'm going to donate to savers. I still have stuff that I want to get rid of. It's hard to do the kitchen, the bedroom, and my office because that's basically where I live. I, I'm living out of all of that on a daily basis. Like yesterday on Sunday, I I have new bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree, which I showed you. Well, I don't know if I showed you. I think I showed you. Yeah, I did show you that seafoam green color set. And it comes with a set of bowls. So obviously, I got the bowls, and I don't need bowls. So I got rid. I put all my bowls in the box for for savers. And then I said to Bob last night, I'm like, Oh, I'm gonna have a bowl of fruit. <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't have any bowls. How am I supposed to do this? So I had to pull the bowls out of the box, go in a saver. So it's, you know, it's 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 hard right now. It's at that stage where I'm trying to figure out how to box up what I don't need on an everyday basis and like in the kitchen at some point and we're getting there right now I'm basically not going to cook anything I'm just going to be like getting takeout and living the last couple of weeks like that but um so yeah and so and to do videos at this point and plan videos and figure out what I'm gonna do for videos is really kind of tough. Like right now I'm doing my nail video chatting with you. That's about all that I can handle at this point. I'm actually not able, I'm, you know, I, I wanna write in my, my blog, I wanna write some posts about, you know, spiritual stuff that I wanna talk about, but that's all gonna have to wait now as I'm at crunch time and I really need to get myself um, so that I'm not preoccupied with what I'm going to do a video on and, you know, filming and then editing and posting the videos. So, that being said, I'm not stopping. 
I'm not gonna go away, but I'm probably just gonna do for the last two and a half weeks, three weeks, maybe even more when we first move in. I'm just gonna do vlog style videos of what's happening and I'll take you along with me um, for different things that I'm doing. Like next weekend is Mother's Day and I'm not going to be doing a lot of packing on Mother's Day. I'm going to kind of give myself a break and I'm going to take um, my dad's girlfriend out for lunch next weekend. Lainey and I are going to go out for lunch. I'm going to take her, you know, for Mother's Day, but it's also going to be a day for me. <laughs> Just <laughs> relax and have a nice lunch. And, you know, I'm going to drop off something for my daughter-in-law on Saturday. And then Sunday, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I'm really trying not to have to do any kind of work next week. Because it's funny because I had so much kind of stamina. And, like, you know, I could keep going. And I, like, thinking about what I did in the basement and how... I mean, just thinking of that is making me tired, just, you know, and I feel like I don't have the energy to do it. You know, packing is kind of like, it's becoming like a chore at this point, and my energy level is is dropping, and so I think it's just because it's coming to the end, and um, so what I'll do is I'm going to post videos, one video a week, and that will be on Thursdays going forward for the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna skip the Monday video. I hope you guys don't mind, but um, it's just, it's it's really, it, it's getting to be too much at this point with everything that needs to get done. You know, and of course, things happen right at the end when, you know, you really want nothing else to, to go wrong, nothing that you have to do or pay for. So last weekend, was it last weekend? Or the, it must have been last weekend. Bob and I decide we're going to go out for ice cream about 5 o'clock last Sunday afternoon. And we head out and we're not more than 500 feet or probably a little more than that away from the house. And some guy in an SUV is coming speeding down the road in, the, in our lane in the opposite direction. So we swerve over to the side. Bob has great presence of mind. You know, he slowly gets over to the other side. We, he misses us, thankfully. We look behind us and he's in the wrong side. He's on the wrong side of the road, coming around a bend, uh, going like 100 miles an hour. And we're like, oh my God, he's gonna kill someone. So when we came home, we did go for ice cream. I didn't want to go for ice cream at that point. And Bob's like, yeah, come on, let's go. I mean, we got to go for ice cream. So we went for ice cream. We came home. We look at our mailbox. It's not there. He hit our mailbox and knocked it into the woods. So luckily the mailbox itself wasn't damaged. So I had to call, I had to get a contractor out here to come and replace the mailbox because we weren't going to get mail without our mailbox. So I did this thing uh, called Thumbtack. You go online, it's an app, and you put, it's like they find contractors who will do the work. In two days, I had a contractor, this great guy just answered me, texted me, said, can you send me some pictures? I sent him pictures. He came out on the Tuesday and it was all replaced. So at the same time, I had him do a couple of things around uh, like I had a couple of outlets I needed them I needed. replaced and fixed and he did that for me and um, so that What's worked that? out and then I like, I've had this little stain growing on my ceiling down here for several months and I had before I even knew we were going to be selling the house I had had a plumber come out replace yeah. the ceiling the ring around my toilet upstairs because that's like right above there and he said you know it could be that um if it's more we'll have to cut through the ceiling he said hopefully we got it and you know it's all set so then i thought well maybe the stain just is there because you know it was there and it seemed to be getting like it seemed to be getting a little worse so i got my step stool this past weekend and felt around and sure enough it's wet so it's leaking from the inside which means I have to have somebody come out 
I have to have a plumber come out and break through the ceiling <laughs> and replace whatever's leaking in there, fix the pipes, and then I'm going to have to have somebody come out and patch the ceiling. Yep, not what we had hoped we would need to do three weeks before, a little less than three weeks before we're going to move. But it is what it is. So I'm going to call a plumber today. Call my plumber. I have a good, great plumber down the street. So hopefully he will come in quickly, get that repaired, whatever it is. And then I'm going to try that thumbtack again and see if I can get somebody out here quickly to patch up the ceiling. Uh, as far as painting the ceiling, I don't know. I think I might leave that to the kids. They're going to be painting anyway. So, um, yeah, I think that that's going to have to be something that they're going to have to do. So that is what is going on right now. We have been going over to the apartment complex, which we have always gone over there anyway because we love that place. We go there for breakfast on Sunday mornings, we take Joey. We go for dinner at one of the restaurants over there, but we've been trying it. We've been going around exploring different things and we are just so excited. We went yesterday and went, sat, on a grassy knoll and just took Joey and just walked around the pool that we're gonna have in our comp like right outside of our apartment is uh, absolutely gorgeous it's like a resort they have it open they have all the they have all the lounge chairs out it's just so beautiful the pool is beautiful it's heated Bob's really excited about the pool I am too so it's gonna be like we're gonna be going on vacation also, you know, when we first move in, we're going to be like being able to go to the pool and stuff like that. So um, I already purchased my shower curtains and curtain um, hooks and things like that for so we can actually, you know, have the shower curtains up and be able to take showers right away. When we're in there, I have my shower, I have my bathroom rugs that I bought. I found them at, uh, where did I find them? I think I found, yeah, I found them at TJ Maxx and they were, um, they're beautiful. I got white for my bathroom and I got like a dark gray for Bob's bathroom. So little things like that I'm starting to get um, ahead of time and um, so yeah just uh getting there we're really getting there it's amazing that we are getting there and it is coming i mean i remember when i first told you guys that we were moving it was like i think it was march and now here we are so um we saw that the people that are living in the apartment they had their u-haul there this weekend so they're getting out <laughs> so yeah we uh we are excited. So I am done with my nails. I will show you them. I think that they came out really good. And um, they're subtle. Um, they do have a little bit of bling on them. And um, I, I like them. I cut them down to a nice length which works for me, uh, works for the work that I do, and um, they look, you know, a little bit more professional uh, in a professional setting, so I, I kind of have to do that, so. That is it, guys. That is gonna do it for this video. I hope that you are all doing really, really well. I am so happy that you are all here, checking in and seeing what is going on. So I am trying to stay upbeat and positive. You know, I know there are gonna be moments where it's gonna hit me that I'm leaving here. I've already had a couple of twinges. <laughs> I wasn't feeding the birds um, probably for the last couple of months because, well, it's probably not a total, uh, probably a couple months because I was trying to like wean myself off of that. But then I had two little chickadees who built a nest in a little birdhouse that I had hanging here and they were looking at me like, where's the food lady? <laughs> so 
I did fill all my feeders this weekend and get, uh, I had a hummingbird show up, uh, kind of like Bob and I were out there, he was cooking something on the grill and it came like right up to us and looked at me like, okay, I'm here, where's the nectar? So I made some hummingbird nectar and hung my hummingbird feeders and I've seen the hummingbird a couple of mornings. And so, yeah, it's like things like that are starting to be like, oh, <laughs> but I mean, the, the pro side of going and the list on the pro side of all of the things is way bigger. I'm still thrilled. I'm still very, very happy. And I'm, I, I, I am so blessed that Julie is going to be here so I can still come take myself around the yard if I want to. But I'm really excited to see uh, what they're going to do with it. There's a lot of work out there in the yard that needs to be done. And Bob and I, he's been cutting the lawn and it's getting, you know, it's, it's getting hotter and hotter for us to um, do stuff like that. I mean, we're getting to the point where we're ready for some easy living. So, so all that being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a loyal follower to my channel and for always commenting and giving me all uh, the great positive comments. So that's why I keep doing this channel. So I'm really grateful to you all. So take care everyone. I will see you in my next video. But again, remember, no video next Monday. I, I don't know if I'll have anything this Thursday. Probably not. I am going to do a vlog type video that will come out next Thursday. So it will be a while before I have another video up. But I hope you understand. And, uh, but yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I will be back. So look for another video next Thursday, which the date will be, today's the 8th, next Thursday will be the 18th. So May 18th will be my next video. So take care everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.